The Altar on Mount Ebal. It's E-B-A-L. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, keep all these commands that I give you today. When you have crossed the Jordan into the land the Lord your God has given you, set up some large stones and coat them with plaster. Write on them all the words of this law when you have crossed over to enter the land the Lord your God has given you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. And when you have crossed the Jordan, set up these stones on Mount Ebal, as I commanded you today, and coat them with plaster. Build there an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. Do not use any iron tool upon them. Build the altar of the Lord your God with field stones and offer burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. Sacrifice fellowship offerings there, eating them and rejoicing in the presence of the Lord your God. And you shall write every cl uh, very clearly all the words of this law on these stones you have set up. And let's continue to read. Curses from Mount Ebal. Then Moses and the priests who are Levites, said to all Israel, Be silent, O Israel, and listen. You have now become the people of the Lord your God. Obey the Lord your God and follow his commands and decrees that I give you today. On the same day Moses commanded the people, When you have crossed the Jordan, these tribes shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. And these tribes shall stand on Mount Ebal to pronounce curses, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. The Levites shall recite to all the people of Israel in a loud voice, Cursed is the man who carves an image or casts an idol, a thing detestable to the Lord, the work of the craftsman's hands, and sets it up in secret. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who dishonors his father or his mother, then all the people shall say amen. Cursed is the man who moves his neighbor, whose neighbor's boundary stone, then all the people shall say amen. Cursed is the man who leads the blind astray on the road, then all the people shall say amen. Cursed is the man who withholds justice from the alien, the fatherless, or the widow, then all the people shall say amen. Cursed is the man who sleeps with his father's wife, for he dishonors his father's bed. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who has sexual relations with any animal. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who sleeps with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who sleeps with his mother-in-law. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who kills his neighbor secretly. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the man who does not uphold the words of this law by carrying them out. Then all the people shall say, Amen. So, <clears throat> there you have it. You have, now they know. They know the blessings by following the law and living um, uh, according to the commandments, they will be blessed. And by not following the law and not living under the commandments, they will be cursed. And so all of the people, all the tribes know this now, and they all are attesting to it themselves. They're all saying that they agree. And so if you were back in that time, think about how you would feel or react and so when it comes to, uh, especially some of these, you know, uh, killing somebody in secret and such, I know nowadays we have cameras, satellite, um, cell phones with uh, cameras on them. So people catch a lot more than what used to happen not too long ago. And, but you can look at it as of today, you know, we don't want somebody to kill somebody else in secret or even in the light of day, you know, over, across the board, um, people deep down do truly care for one another, but sometimes can be, of course, fogged or 
have things in their mind and do things that are unfortunate. But this is telling us, even in the law, <clears throat> that this was a sin. It was, and that that person um, would, the curse would fall on them because they were not upholding the law and they were not upholding the commandments. And so how does it make you feel and what does it make you think about these laws and these directions and commandments that the Lord is giving Israel? Are there things that you can think of today that we may utilize even in our own society 